Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! And here's what I kind of want to demo today. Um, I've seen a lot of long, thin peyote stitch wrap bracelets. They're super cute. So I thought I would make one or start to make one today. I don't, I don't think I'll finish all of this today, but we can certainly get started. Just classic orange and black colors. And again, it will be, it's only four beads wide. So it's going to be a really thin peyote stitch strip, which means it will uh, be faster to work up, which means you can make it longer without spending as much time. So you can make a really fun long wrap bracelet. Um, so I've seen a lot of those and I think they're a lot of fun. So I thought I would do a Halloween version. Uh, we're just getting into making some peyote stitch Halloween wrap bracelets. So this is only four beads wide, so it's an even count peyote stitch. And that's a really pretty easy, that's an easier peyote stitch to start with than odd count, I think, uh, because you don't have to do any special turns or anything with your stitch. So we're going to start right here where this dot is. You're going to start on that um, down bead and you're going to string the first two rows, which is a black bead, a black bead, an orange bead, and an orange bead. So that's pretty easy. And again, I've got a really simple pattern, so it's easier to follow. So we'll pick up a couple black beads. I've mixed two orange colors here. These are 11 aught cylinder beads that I'm using here. So I've got a black color and then I mixed two orange colors because I thought that would be kind of fun. I've got a matte orange and a kind of shiny, shiny orange. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> And then I'm using 1G beading thread in this nice kind of rust orange color. And I've got a um, size 12 beading needle. All right, I've got my two black and my two orange. And then I'm going to slide it down my thread. Again, we have really great instructions for how to do even count peyote stitch. We've got PDF diagrams, videos, and text tutorials on the website that I have um, linked in the video descript description. Oh, Misty, that's a great idea. That would be cute with a pumpkin charm. Yes, Audrey, orange and black were my high school colors. Um, that reminds me of like Halloween Town, like a Halloween themed high school. That'd be awesome. Okay, so I've got those first two rows here. My next row starts with a black bead. So I'm going to add a black bead here. Let's see if I can pick it up. And then you're going to skip over that last orange bead and then go through the next bead on the row. And so that black bead will be sitting right on top of that last orange bead. And the first few rows are a little squirrely as you get everything lined up. I kind of use my fingers to keep everything straight, um, but that, that does make it difficult to show if my fingers are in the way, so I'm trying as best as I can. So that black bead will fall right on top of that first orange bead, and now your thread is coming out of the second orange bead. Now the next, the next color in the third row is another orange bead, so I'm gonna pick up an orange bead here, and I'm gonna skip over that uh, next black bead and go through the last black bead. Wow, orange and black is high school colors? That's so cool. They must be like tigers or something, right? That's their mascot. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna guess. All right, so that's the third row. We're coming out of that last black bead. Um, and then the next bead in the fourth row is an orange bead. Oh yeah, purple would be pretty for a uh, Halloween bracelet as well, Anne. Great idea. Hornets, ah, okay, that makes sense. Hornets, tigers. Wow, everybody had orange and black as their high school colors. Mine were um, red and white or red and yellow, uh, like at the beginning it was kind of red and yellow and then it turned to like red and white. Red, black, and white, I guess. <laughs> Next color, we're coming out of that uh, orange bead in the third row. Next color is black. So we're gonna skip over that um, orange bead in the second row and go through that 
black bead in the third row. Red and green. Oh, that's Christmas colors. Yeah, my, my high school colors were red and white, and then my, my college colors were uh, purple, purple and gold. Really fun. Okay, next, next row, we're going to start with orange. So we're just doing a really simple striped black and orange pattern for these first several rows. So now that I've got my peyote stitch uh, first few rows going, it's super simple. So the rows are staggered, so you're just adding beads uh, between those staggered beads in the previous row. So I'm coming through that staggered up bead in the previous row. I'm adding a black bead, that's my next color, going through that next orange bead. And again, we have up close videos, up close pictures, nice PDF diagrams for this technique. So you can see that this is going to be a really thin strip, which I love. That's going to work up really fast. It's going to be really fun. Um, and we can make it really long. So that's going to be super fun. So we just keep going with that. Just keep adding the, um, the beads. <laughs> And because this pattern is so simple, I'm not really like consulting my um, my diagram here. I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, that might come to bite me later if I go too fast. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Good to see you. But because it's such a simple pattern, it's kind of easy to just um, just kind of pay attention as you go along without consulting the pattern. However, if it were more complicated, you could certainly keep track by like checking off beads. I usually dot them with my pen or you can use um, a sticky note to kind of uh, mark the rows as you go. Um, how do you know how long to cut your thread? So I usually do about an arm's span length, um, and that's a good starting point. If you um, are, as you're stitching, you find that you're running out of thread, you can always add more in. Um, you just kind of have to weave your existing thread around a bunch to kind of secure it. Then you can trim it and then add a new thread in um, in the same manner. So it's super easy to add more thread if, you, if you're going to run out. Just make sure to do that before your working thread gets too short, otherwise you're not gonna be able to secure it properly. And we do have a nice tutorial for how to do that in various stitches like peyote stitch. Um, so super easy. Oh, this is looking cute, loving it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. You really don't have to, with a stitch like this, you do not have to make your thread long enough for the full, um, for the full project. That would be, that could be a very long thread. And then the problem that you would run into with that is it could get really tangly and knotted and that's never fun to deal with when you're, when you're weaving. So I like to do just like an arm span, three feet. That's a good working length. Long enough to get you pretty far, but it's not going to be too tangly. So hopefully that's that's helpful. Yes, you can always add in more for sure. Yeah, so as you can see, once you get the your first rows established and you get going, it works up pretty fast, especially when the rows are only four beads wide. <laughs> Super fun. So yeah, you just keep going like this. Keep going. Yeah, I, orange and black is such a classic color combo for Halloween, but I really love purple and green too. I think that's fun and witchy. Um, green and orange is another good one. So as you can see, like when you're starting the next row, you just kind of turn your needle back around, do the same thing the other way. So that's why I say even count is a good peyote stitch to start with rather than odd count because it's easy to turn back and forth um, with odd count peyote stitch. And I think I've demoed this before. You kind of have to do um, a special turn or a special move to get the next row started. So it is easier, in my opinion, to start with even count. Or you could start with odd count and then when you do even count, it's going to be 
a breeze. <laughs> so there's that too. So we're, we're flying here. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to keep going with this. Obviously, I'm not going to finish this um, on camera. We would be here quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be giving the link for the paper you are following? Um, so I just created this pattern yesterday, um, and I I use um, a beading software to do that. We do have, um, let me see if I can find an example. We do have our own free printable graph paper that you can use to color in your own designs and make your own peyote stitch, brick stitch, loom patterns. So you could definitely use that to make your own version of this. Um, this will be on the website once I get this all finished up for you to print out and follow along with free instructions and a supplies list for making this. But first we gotta make it. So this is a little sneak peek of what's to come. <laughs> Um, super fun. Uh, okay, so let's see. Black is our next color and we're turning the row, starting the next row. Again, super easy to turn the row. Just go back the other way. Um, keep going. Orange. So I kind of like these orange colors mixed. That's kind of fun. Adds a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle and shine. Super fun. We've got black up next. Another orange. Yeah, so I am so excited for Beadtober. Got a lot of fun ideas. Hopefully you guys do too. I can't wait to see what you guys share. It's always so much fun. And you guys you guys are always so good at sharing on uh, during Beadtober. It's a lot of fun. What is the length? About 34 inches. So in my program, this is about, I think this was like an eight inch length here, or no, 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 four, four inch length. So this here as shown is about 12 inches and I will check that to see how many wraps I've got. Um, I might just continue past that, just kind of start the pattern over um, just to, to go whatever length I want because this could get really long. I'd like to see how, how long of a wrap I can make here, how many, I guess it depends on how many wraps you want. <laughs> Do you want it to uh, be a double wrap, triple wrap, quadruple wrap? So yeah, you could definitely just continue the pattern. That's why I kept it a basic pattern. So um, if I ran out and still wanted to keep going, I could just repeat the basic pattern. So that's my plan as of now. And again, once I get this finished, we will have nice diagrams and instructions for you. Um, but it should be a pretty easy one to customize and make as long as you want. Super cute. So we're just we're just rocking with the stripes here. Super easy. <laughs> Super easy to follow. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm about halfway done with the stripes. Yeah, three times would be a really nice wrap. I agree with you. Um, that would be a good length. So we'll see, we'll see. Another orange. <laughs> Parody stitch is really addicting. And this would be a cute little ring too. So you could just make a cute little thin ring. Maybe pick pick the pattern that you like the most and make a ring out of it. That would be cute. Really good idea. Super fun. So yeah, I'm, I really like how quickly, quickly for peyote stitch. I mean, it's, it's bead weaving, so it's still going to take you some time, but I really like how quickly this, this, uh, narrower peyote stitch band works up. We've already got some good <laughs> length. Misty, I'm working on so many fall pieces. I can't wait to share throughout Beadtober. Misty, I always love seeing what you're working on. We can't wait to see. And remember when you share on Instagram or in our serious 
Heart Beaters Facebook group. Use those hashtags, the hashtag Beadtober and hashtag Serious Art Beater. And that way, especially on Instagram, we'll be able to um, click that hashtag and see all of the posts tagged with that hashtag so we can see everything that you're sharing. And then um, you'll also be in the running for our Beadtober prize. So fun. Oh my goodness, this is coming together beautifully. This is gonna be super cute with all of the, um, yeah, with all of the layers of the wrap bracelet. That's gonna be so much fun. All right, I'm into it. <laughs> super cute, love that. The hardest part is catching these beads on your needle. <laughs> yeah, so it comes right along. We're almost done with our little stripey section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's only three more of those black stripes to go, and then we'll move on to our um, our next little section, which is like, I don't know, little polka dots. So yeah, so I just um, did basic little patterns for this peyote stitch, and you can see that we're, we're zipping right along. We're, we're almost done with that first pattern section. It works up really quickly because it's, a narrow band so next will be these little dots and then we've got um, little horizontal stripes then i've got triangles and that pattern continues um, down here then just little polka dots more stripes uh, and then uh, i don't know these little eyes <laughs> more polka dots more polka dots more, more bold stripes, and then um, vertical little dashes, a fun little chevron pattern, more polka dots up here. So you could totally even add even more and just keep going. <laughs> so fun. So that's my little Halloween peyote stitch demo. Um, and if you want more even, even stitch peyote instruction, we've got great instructions on the website and I've got links to all of that in the video description. I've got links to everything you see here in the video description.